Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It is Miss Shop Slot with a haul for you today. It is thrifted and garage sale and I do have a couple clothing items that I wanted to share with you and this is a little bit different of a haul. Yes, it does have my normal designer stuff and bling, but I also have a few things that I bought to resell and I will explain those things to I know some people have asked so I'm putting a little bit of both together and you can let me know what you think first thing is some clothes that I bought for myself I got some dresses it is going to be cold here soon but I do go to Florida quite a bit so my dresses get worn uh, the first one <clears throat> is by friend no by oh it sold at Francesca's this was eight dollars with half off so it was four dollars and it is fringe little black dress this is the back super cute and for four dollars who doesn't love a little black dress next I bought this I actually have this same dress in a different color and I think it is super flattering and this was brand new for six dollars it's Old Navy I love this dress it's so cute like I said I have it in I believe the other one is white and it looks really nice on and that was six dollars the next dress I bought may or may not be a holiday dress uh, hopefully by holidays it won't fit meaning it will be too big and then therefore I will go buy myself something else <laughs> so this was six dollars as well and it is this black sequin dress great for holidays and I love my sequins so that for now is a holiday dress but again hopefully it will not fit I am back in the gym and trying to not diet but get my eating schedule and eating right down I know that fitness begins in the kitchen and that is my biggest issue right now especially constantly being on the road shopping or traveling so I need to bring my food with me which I have all these cute little coolers and I never do so I'm going to start doing that because that will cut down on a lot of my fast food eating while I am out. So this was $7 half off. It is so pretty. I think this is new with tags too. Oh, that's the back. Okay. I think this is so pretty. It almost <laughs> looks nightgown-ish. Um, but it's so light and airy. And then here is the... Doo -doo -doo. Here is the bottom... So I have my room back. My daughter is in New York City and I miss the crap out of her so much. But I do have my room back so now I will be able to fix it where I can show you these in either a mirror or on. So the next videos that I do with clothes I will show you what they actually look like. Uh, I also bought these pants. I won't be able to wear them till next year. Super excited about them. Again. I hope they don't fit, but they're a little, s they're snug. They're too snug right now. So hopefully they'll be way too big, but whatever. I'm not going to stress about it at this point, but I will show you these and they are amazing. They're even Mendez for uh, New York and company. And these colors, oh, they're so pretty. So let me tell you that you cannot be a chunky butt in these. I mean, you can be chunky, but these can't be snug because they look atrocious if they are too tight because of the colors. But it, they're so beautiful. I love the Eva Mendez for New York and Company. She has a really great collection there. Okay, now let's dive into the junk. Or, not my junk. These are my trend. Uh We'll do the little things first, as always. This... Okay, so y'all know, especially if you thrift, you always have that one thing like, why? Why did I buy it? And this is no exception. I paid, 
15 or I think it was a dollar. And it's this necklace. Not my style whatsoever. It has a price tag of 24 on it. Uh, the beads are pretty, and my friend does a lot of jewelry making, so I may just give it to her for the beads because the beads are really cool. I don't know if this is who made it, but it's by Half Naked Design. It's nice. It's just totally not my style. So that was a WTF piece. Um, the next piece is this. I paid $5 for it, but hold on. It is sterling silver. And again, I thought this was pretty. I don't know if the wire is silver or not. I bought it strictly for the chain to clean up and put my daughter's charm on it. I was lucky enough to find a gold one, which I gave to her before she went away with her Italian horn on it. <sighs> I miss her. Okay. Um, next were these earrings. You guys know I like my big earrings. And these were $2.99. I don't have any of this black, gray, silver, so... I wound up buying, I bought some bracelets and a necklace that matched that. So those were $3 from Savers. Um, I bought this. I have never found CC Sky in the wild. And this is also brand new. Give me one second. I paid $5 for it. And it is the Angel Wing Rhinestone Pav necklace. I believe this necklace was like a hundred and something dollars to begin with. I know the ring is still sold for 78 or 75. So I was excited to find that. This, another WTF, but it was a quarter. It is a Not Genie Magic Hairband. No more too tight, too loose ponytails. So I have super thick hair. Okay. And in the summer, it is ridiculous to have down. But when I put it up, I get headaches. So we'll see if this will help with my headaches from my hair ties. Uh, this is just an Alex and Ani pearl bracelet for $4. They must have missed that it was Alex and Ani because they usually charge full price for Alex and Ani there. Um, this baby is so cute. So this lady had a basket of just baskets of stuff and it was more or less like fill a bag and she gave you a price um i paid i want to say two dollars for the bag and i've already made over 125 dollars off of two of the things that i sold from in there these are two things that i have left i don't know if i'll be selling her because i love her um but i'm not sure Anyways, here she is. She is very old. I don't know what she is made out of. It almost seems like plastic. But then when you look at her fingers, it almost looks like wood. So I'm not sure. I forget. Somebody said she's got a little brain damage. But it's okay. We'll cover her with a hat. Isn't she the cutest? Oh my god. So I don't know if her clothes are original. If anything, maybe this dress. And the diaper, I'm not thinking the sweater, but um, she's got some damage. But composite? Is that what they called it? I don't know. She's got one little tuft of hair left. She's so sweet. So I don't think I will be selling her. But if you know anything about her, please let me know. I've looked all over her. I have not found any names, any numbers, nothing of that sort. Um, like on the back of her head, she has nothing... Um, but she is lovely, and she will go in my china cabinet. But if you know anything about her, please let me know. Uh, the next item that was in this ba in the box that I got was this mohair, mohair, mohair teddy bear. He is also going to be for resale. He is signed and. I believe this is one of those things where different artists make the bears. Uh, he is barely there, Inc. Westminster, California. Right, California? 122 of 2000 St. Nicholas Bear. So, I thought he was super cool. 
It looks a little scary. It looks more like a fox than a bear, but you know. I'm all into the creepy uh, Christmas. And if he doesn't sell, I'm not worried about it. So some things I buy that I'm not worried if they sell or not, that I will keep them if they don't. Some things are bought strictly knowing that they will. Uh, okay, so this is a La Sport sack. It was $1.99. Super clean. It is a Jonathan Adler bag for the sports sack. So there's that. Uh, next was this guy. Bought him for me. Love the Christmas. He's so cool. <laughs> he was also, was he part of that? Yeah, he was part of that bag too. These were all a quarter. And I think I got, she had, well, there's four, seven, I think I got them, oh, plus that eight, so I had eight things, and I think I got them for $1.50. Uh, this is Cherry Blossom. These are for, like, oil warmers. I put them in my uh, oil diffusers, and this one is Lavender Vanilla. This is Lavender Vanilla. This is... Apple pumpkin, which it's almost pumpkin spice time. Not yet, so slow down with all of that, but it's almost there. And why is there Christmas stuff out right now? Oh my God. Yes, I love Christmas. Yes, I could love having two months of Christmas, but it's freaking... Okay, it's not August anymore. Today's September 1st. But anyway, geez, give it a rest. This, These two are Macintosh Apple. This is Vanilla Cupcake. And last is... This Marrakesh oil, argon and hemp oil therapy for your hair. It's a full bottle. These are pretty, exp I mean, when I say pretty expensive, they're definitely way more than a quarter. So I picked those up. Next we have, oh, these. These were a quarter. So I bought these two other things, which I will tell you when I get there. And the most amazing leather jacket which is outside that I'm going to do a separate haul on because that weekend I found fringe everything and I love it all and I hope fringe comes back because I got some amazing pieces anywho so these want to be in like a quarter for all of them and they are Harley Davidson patches which I'll just group together and sell for a couple bucks this one's pretty And that one. So I figure for a quarter, it's not bad. Somebody, some lady rider will want them for a couple of dollars. Uh, next, I bought this again. This was the same garage sale. She had, you know, when I first walked up, I was like, oh, her stuff's going to be expensive. And believe it or not, it was probably one of the cheapest ones I've been to all week or all summer. This is a laser point, like for presentations. Let's see, does it have any batteries in it? No. And then this is a, I believe it's a USB, like a, oh, I think it goes together. Okay, so that's, yeah, that goes, I got it, I got it. Maybe this will be good for my uh, hauls. I can point to stuff like that over there. <laughs> Uh, again, it was a quarter. If I sold it for five bucks, still a hell of a profit. I don't normally buy that low to sell that low, but it was a quarter. And I was having one of those days where I wasn't finding anything, so I was like, all right, fine, I'll take this. Uh, this was in one of my videos, and I did wind up buying the set for $10. It is Catherine, Catherine Mal Malandrino. Yeah. And it has the rose gold watch, the rose gold bracelet, a gold bracelet, and two silver bracelets. And the price on it was $125. It is a really pretty set. Obviously, probably not really. I don't know if you can see all that, all that bling in there. So I will probably be doing a... Uh, the next thing I bought was this Spyro game. Also came from that cluster garage sale, and it also was a quarter. 
I will probably just throw that on line or in my garage sale for a couple dollars or just take it I used to buy games and stuff and take them to um I think it's Oogie Games and then I wound up building up quite a nice credit that I was able to buy my husband games where it really didn't cost me that much so that's always an idea as well uh this next thing was a minerals greatest performers and it has the primetime foundation primer uh I believe Oh, it tells you in the back. Mineral Veil Finishing Powder, 2.0 Eyeshadow, Mascara, Beauty Blush, and Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss. I will probably keep the lip gloss and the mascara and give the rest to my daughter or one of my girlfriends because I have so much eyeshadow. I can't do any more. <laughs> uh, next, these, so... In Florida, on the beaches, you're not really supposed to bring alcohol, at least the ones we go to. And we usually have our own slick ways of doing it anyway. Even though there's a bar that serves alcohol, we still buy plenty of alcohol from there. But we like to have our own little thing too, you know. So <laughs> I picked these up. Again, these were a quarter. Um, it's Hydra Flask. And this one is a... I mean, these are great for like... Um, sporting events and you know different things where you can't bring some but you just want a little bit I'm not talking about getting hammered at a kids baseball game but to have a little two glasses of wine wouldn't be so bad uh, so anyways it is a bug spray and a hairspray so they look like so really it's an ingenious thing because all they did was make and sell empty hairspray bottles so, I mean, ingenious. I don't know if the company is still in business because I believe a lot of this stuff was older. But, I mean, seriously, ingenious. That it's like one of those, why didn't I think of that? It's, liter it's just a spray bottle, empty spray bottle that has some writing on it that says whatever it is. However, when I was in my early 20s, we did try to sneak in alcohol somewhere in a hairspray bottle and it was awful because you could still taste the alcohol hairspray not the alcohol that we were smuggling in so wish I had those back then <laughs> uh, Doctor Who for a dollar I know people love their Doctor Who and this is a Christmas ornament something I would probably resell for ten to fifteen dollars uh, People love Christmas, so usually anything, not anything Christmas, but if it's related to certain movies or shows or childhood memories, those kind of Christmases, Christmas things are good. Okay, so I know some people have issues with fur. Everybody is entitled to their opinion. I do not condone new fur, where people are going out and doing it now. Old fur, I feel like if you're not using it and just throwing it away, then those animals died for nothing. I know it's a touchy subject for some people, and I applaud your what you're, you believe in, and I hope that you respect my opinion as well. Again, I do not condone new fur, but I also feel bad that old fur is just tossed, and then, you know, those animals died for nothing then. All right, that being said, everybody has their own opinion. You're entitled to it. I respect it. Please respect mine. I found these uh, cuffs and collar. They were, I think she wanted $2 for them. And you put these on a jacket or a sweater. There's the other cuff. I'm not sure what animal fur it is. It doesn't feel like rabbit. It feels too long for that. It doesn't feel like mink. So I'm not quite sure. And then this is the collar. It's a short collar. So I thought about putting it on a sweater or something. So that was that. Uh, okay. Love Christmas. Love Christmas. My all time, one of my all time favorite Christmas movies is National Lampoon's Vacation, and I have always wanted a freaking moose mug 
and now I have my own moose mug. Is it just one? I don't even know. It was $3.39. I couldn't handle my excitement. Um, let me see. It was originally, so I believe, I believe I bought at the end of the year last year, at the end of Christmas season, I bought the, oh yeah, it's just one mug. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Um, I believe at the end of Christmas last year, like it, when stuff goes on clearance at Bed Bath & Beyond, they had these and I, they didn't have any when I went, but I was so excited to see that they actually made them. But I think, I can't remember because all my Christmas stuff is put away. I believe I bought the wine glasses. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Let's see. This, you know, I love my candles. Let freedom ring. It was a dollar. It was partially burnt. Smells wonderful. Um, I believe I offered 50 cents. I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay, so these two things were from the garage sale with the amazing leather jacket that I bought. I have wanted the neat receipts. This is the mobile scanner. So I wanted them forever, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to find them eventually. Well, I wound up, I have a different system now. So I found this brand new for this and this counterfeit detection scanner. I paid $2.50 a piece. That is incredibly cheap. Uh, the neat receipt is brand new. So I will resell this. It's not as expensive as it once was. Like these were like 100 or 300 I think the big one was 300 So I will just put this on... Craigslist, let go, and put it up for like 30 bucks. And again, I'd be totally happy with that. I prefer to sell locally because then you're not getting, you don't have to pay fees and whatnot. So I try to do stuff like that first and then go from there. And this counterfeit detection scanner, these are fairly expensive. Uh, cash, credit cards, driver's license, ID cards, passports, and many other important documents. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think I need this for doing business like cash wise. I have a counterfeit pen, so I will also resell that again, $30, $40, and I would be happy with a $2.50 investment. Definitely stuff like that I would try locally first, and then if not, then I would try online. But I like to I like to sell locally first when it comes to really anything. Bags, however, is a different story because you have a wider audience on uh, online and people don't want to, especially in my area, they're not paying it. <laughs> they are not paying it. That's why I get such good deals on like some of the Louis I get and some of the other designer bags I get because people just won't pay that kind of money for them here. They just won't. Um, so yeah. Then I bought, I one of my last videos, I bought a ton of Jamberry nail stickers. Well, this garage sale had, did I show this already? I don't think so. It was $10. I gave her eight. So the cool thing about this place that I went to, I may have told the story because I bought something else, but she had a little setup with some purses and stuff and said that she took PayPal. And I was like, oh, that's awesome that you take PayPal. And she was like, yeah, she said I had a garage sale last year and some girl offered to buy my bag and use PayPal. And I said, was it a black Kate Spade bag? And she said, yeah. I was like, that girl was me. She was like, oh, well, thank you. She's like, now I take PayPal. So it was really cute. She had her bags up. They were pretty expensive for a garage sale. They were good. Uh, they are gorgeous bags, but they were better off online. She does sell online, but she was trying at the garage sale. So anyways, it is the dryer the nail prep wipes, and a ton of Jamberry. Uh, some of them are used, but most of them were, were not. For $8. And I also, yesterday, picked up this, another one, for $6, which I don't care about the heater. I'll probably give the heater to my daughter. So it was this for six dollars. But look at all of the I don't want to put that girl's name on there. 
all of the wraps. There's probably 40 wraps here, 40 packages. So I am good. So tonight I am going to do my jamber nails. I don't know how they work yet, so I'll let y'all know how I feel. I do like the ones that are more like nail polish, where it's actual nail polish. So, yeah. Okay. Anywho. All right. Now for bags, but wait, I have one, one more thing. But wait, there's more. <laughs> dee, 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 dee. Okay, so this is a non-designer item, but so I saw this. It is a. Oh my God! Why can't I brain? It is a. It's a. It's a. Y'all know what it is. What is it? camera stand <laughs> sometimes my mind just completely goes blank happens a lot I think I need more sleep anyways it is a pro master professional and these sell for about a hundred and fifty um, hundred and eighty dollars I paid three whole dollars for it there is nothing wrong with this thing it is amazing I tripod it's a tripod okay so I have a tripod now it is nothing glamorous but now, now I have a pink tripod. This I found at a Goodwill. I don't know if it's real. I'm guessing it's not. I've never seen one like it. It's a Chanel water bottle. Or like travel mug. I don't know. It has no other markings anywhere. So I'm not, I'm not sure if anyone knows or seen one of these. It was only two thirty nine or three thirty nine, so I was like, "It looks bougie." I'll be bougie at the gym. Oh, okay. We'll get to that next. Next, I bought this Kipling. I bought it for my BFF's daughter, my little niece, and it was four dollars. It is a Kipling bag. Now I don't know if all of the monkeys are named Emma. But her name is Emma, and it's fitting, so I'm going to drop this off to her tomorrow with some dresses that I bought her for her first day of school. Oh my god, she's starting school. It's crazy. So I bought this Emma monkey for my little Emma. Cute, cute little crossbody. I never find the monkey when I find a Kipling, ever. Especially one new with tags. And again, it was $4. If you watch my videos one of my last videos someone broke into my car and stole my gym bag so the gods were with me at garage sales and I got this gorgeous gorgeous lug bag um, it is like brand new it is this pretty color pink purple and it is in amazing condition she had eight dollars on it so many compartments i offered her i think that's for your ipad or your phone i offered her five she said sure and again this thing is in immaculate condition she said she barely used it so that is my new gym bag and this is my new gym water bottle so now i'm bougie again yay i liked my last bag it was a diaper bag from Big Buddha I think I believe it was Big Buddha and it was quilted it looked like a Chanel bag it was super cute oh to take your rings off that's cute makeup I believe this is a gym bag bottom this must be where you put your sneakers so they don't stink yeah it's got to be a gym bag so yeah lug bag three five bucks I was excited Okay, we get into my lonely two designer bags. Now, I do find designer bags all the time. Uh, so, sometimes it's only one or two. Sometimes it's ten. But, today it's two. First one being this Michael Kors. I didn't even know it was a Michael Kors at first. I just saw the back. And I saw the sticker on the bottom was 539 and it, they had just come out. I never catch the purses when they just come out. Sometimes. Like, 
at AMVETS I do, but not really at Goodwill. And I was like, ah! So I ran over there and there was really nothing good. So this was like at the bottom of the heap. And there was another girl digging in there with me. Listen, dig away. I'm going to dig away. You dig away. Whatever we find, we find. Don't push me out of the way. Don't block me out. I won't do the same. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. That is the that is the worst thing you can do is be rude to somebody when you're both in it for the same thing, you know? I mean, good for you. Get what you can get. I'm going to look too, but don't push me out of the way and don't block me because if you do, I will be just as ignorant back. I can't stand when people do that, especially the jewelry um, people. Jewelry people are insane. They will hoard the entire baskets or whatever is out with jewelry and not let anyone in. To me, I find that so infuriating. Like, who are you that you get to dig first? Share. I would share. I'm not going to do that. You know, if all the purses are out, I'm not going to hoard the purses. I'm not going to bully my way up there and not let anyone in. It's so rude. So don't be rude. Okay? Don't be rude. <laughs> so here, here is my Michael Kors purse. I don't know what that is, but it's something crusty that I will wipe off. I don't know what the name of this bag is. Um... It's in really good condition. The inside is clean. So, you know, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not going to say, hey, here's a, a Michael Kors bag, but I'm also not going to stop you from looking or taking something. I, the one time I was at one and um, the lady found a Celine. I was like, you know, applauding her. Like, that's awesome. I'm so happy for you. And I truly was. Where other ladies are just like, they want to fight you. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. <sighs> Anyways, enough of my rant. I know I got to rant a little here and there. I mean, it's just, you know, we're all in it for the same thing. We either want it for ourselves or we want to resell. Don't be a bully. Hate bullies. Now, this guy was at my local Savers and... She was just sitting there. I have never, this is my first Henry Bendel bag. Uh, I did find, I believe I found a phone case once, but this is the first bag I've ever found and it's brand new. There's no wear on this bag whatsoever. It's so pretty. I love, I don't know if that's coming up dark brown or black, but it's dark brown with this watermelony peachy color. Perfect condition. And she was four dollars and inside somebody had nicely put these here um hold on. yeah gorgeous inside nowhere these were inside for two dollars a piece it was obviously a set but whatever Ooh. so is this henry bendel pouch and then this henry bendel pouch for a dollar ninety nine each I love this. Love it. It's so pretty. It's not huge, but it's really nice. So I do have, if you, oh wait, no, I didn't put it on Instagram or Facebook yet. So I did have, I did find a really good find. Eee, I'm so excited. And I am going to post it on Instagram first, and then it will be in a video for Wednesday. So stay tuned if you want to see my new surprise. And I will also have, on Wednesday, I will also put in the giveaway, what I'm, uh, what I'm giving away, and the rules, etc. and whatnots. And thanks so much for listening to me, Babel. It's a 37-minute video. I hope I still have somebody's attention. As always, I love you guys, and, and thanks so much for watching and supporting me. It really, truly means a lot, and if I can help anyone in any way... Every bit of it is worth it. And again, thank you all so much for your kindness. And as always, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.